Good morning, my name is Jason and Zalewitz with PowerPole. We're gonna be installing the first saltwater PV move trolling motor on a 24 Lake and Bay. We will have video chapters down below for you to jump ahead wherever you need assistance. So here's the hardware kit for the mounting pulpit. Here are the drill bits to ensure mounting location on your boat, 5 16 and a quarter inch. You can start with a quarter, and if you run into any alignment issues, you can drill out to 5 16 no bigger than that. A number three screwdriver, 7 16 ratchet wrench. Here's your quick disconnect bracket. Here's your pin for that bracket and your mounting template provided in the box. All right, here we are mounting our Move PV. We have two different mounting options on this template. We have the direct to your boat, which will be your red drill holes. And we have your quick disconnect, which also comes installed on your trolling motor when it comes out of the box. What we're finding here on this 24 Lake and Bay backwater, and every boat may be different, we're going to move this template forward. I'm gonna center it to ensure that we don't have any shaft overhang where the head will hang off the boat and I'm going to push it forward to get this edge of this perforated line clearance for your locking mechanism and the full deployment of the trolling motor. In this case, where I have this template mounted, we run into a quick issue on this fourth hole for the quick disconnect. What we would do in this case is power pole is also thought outside the box and we've created our own mounting pulpit. So in this situation, we have run into the problem where we cannot directly mount this move to the boat or use our quick disconnect. We have designed two different size pulpits, a short and a long one, and we are going to use the short pulpit to get extra clearance. These are the forward mounting holes for the quick disconnect for the move PV trolling motor. And there we are. We ensure that we have an extra inch or two to move your motor forward of the bow. So here we are getting ready to mount the pulpit to the boat. We have chosen to drill out quarter inch holes. We did not have to drill out 5 16 We have chosen every other hole location to ensure strength across the whole pulpit. We will now go up underneath the deck and add our six inch and a quarter fender washers with our six brass quarter 20 nuts. All right, so here we are. We have our Move Quick Disconnect hardware kit. We give you everything to mount this quick disconnect, whether it's to the boat or to the pulpit. We'll give you some blue Loctite, our fender washers, if you're going directly to the boat, long bolts and short to go into the pulpit. We are gonna open up this Loctite. I'm gonna apply some blue Loctite on there. Get that started and tighten those down. All right, so we have just installed the boat side puck of the quick disconnect on the PV. We have chosen to use our four short bolts out of the quick disconnect kit and use the provided blue Loctite on all four quarter 20s. All right, so here we are, have the move trolling motor. We're gonna mount it up to the quick disconnect for the first time. It falls right into place. Yeah, if you're a pin right here, Get them both inserted and started, and insert that and push all the way in. We're gonna turn this propeller shaft horizontal so the prop shaft does not fall out on you. 
I'm going to take the back of the prop, line the prop pin up with the back, insert that. We're going to take a deep socket 9 16 We're going to take our prop anode and hand thread that on there. Make sure we're not cross threading it. We have a stainless nut in here with a stainless propeller shaft. So you want to tighten it up with a ratchet, not a drill or an impact. We're all tightened up and now she's ready for the water. Okay, so now we're going to deploy the PV motor for the first time to ensure that we have clearance. Okay, here we are. We're hooking our power up to our move trolling motor. We provided you everything to hook up to 24 or 36 volts. If you're using an aftermarket plug, please go by the directions and use the connections that you're needed for that plug. All right, so we've got it all wired up and we've uh, chosen to use an aftermarket quick disconnect plug. Uh, we're going to insert it into power for the first time. You should start to see the power lights go across the head. Here's your move remote charging cradle. We're getting ready to install this. This can be wired to 12, 24, or 36 volts. It will be fused with a two amp fuse and will charge and use as a storage location for your move remote. Due to the limited space on the current dash on this 24 Lake and Bay, we have chosen to install the charge cradle on the interior side of the port side of the console. All right, so we have found a power source in the boat for 12 volts. We have chosen a location that we will be able to use a two amp fuse in line. So here we have the remote cradle installed, all connected to power. We're gonna install the remote into the charge cradle. And as you will see, we have a fully charged remote. This concludes our move PV install. For all on the water information, please follow our user guide video and download the PowerPole app.